Yo, what's up, everybody? Yeah, welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we are talking fat loss, baby. And I'm going to explain the three essential tips that you might not know, probably don't realize are most essential. You see, when we talk about fat loss, many people misconstrue fat loss with weight loss. What does that mean? That means they wake up, they step on the scale, and they're like, damn, man, I didn't lose any weight today. That is not necessarily a bad thing if we're focused on fat loss. Fat is what we want to get rid of. We don't want to get rid of weight. We want to get rid of fat, the non-functional weight that's blurring the beautiful definition of our musculature right? The fat is the fog that's in the way of the beautiful scenery. We want to get rid of the fat, not the weight, because the weight could be your muscle. The weight, I mean, is your muscle. The weight's all the other healthy components of your body. Now, before we continue on in this, bang, bang, I ask you guys to just pop me a quick thumbs up. Takes like no time. Click right there that fast to do it. It helps the channel grow allegedly, but if nothing else, it lets me know you're out there and you're engaged with this content. I speak with a lot of people and you guys, followers of this channel understand. I speak with thousands of humans every year. I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. We have a robust team of dietitians on staff. We have trainers. We have online platforms and all these different outlets. So we engage directly with a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And what we really focus on when we speak with people is we look at the data, we understand the data, and we try and figure out what pain points are most people having. And if we could create content to help the majority of people with similar struggles, well, that's our best way to deliver value at a large scale. So this is how videos like this are thought of. It's like, man, Dolce talks about fat loss quite a bit. Dolce talks about you know, eating real food quite a bit. I talk about a lot of, of basic things quite a bit because these are the areas most people continuously struggle. Now, you listening, you watching right now, I have to ask you a question. Do you think you have some fat to lose? Every single person right now is like, yeah. How much fat do you think you have to lose? A lot of people are like, I don't know, you know, maybe five, maybe 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds. And I'm going to tell you something that might hurt to hear, but please stay with me. Double it. Double it. You really have to double the amount of weight you think you have to lose to really get to the weight that you need to lose in order to look the way you want. In our experience in speaking with thousands of people, we've, we've realized most people dramatically underestimate how much weight they have to lose, although they know they have to lose weight. They don't really look good. They don't really feel good. They're not very happy in their own skin, but they think it, it will be solved if they just lose 10 to 20 pounds. And that's not the case. If you think you need to lose 10 pounds, you need to lose at least 20, right? So keep that in mind. Now, I promised you that I'm going to teach you three essential tips to fat loss, and I'm going to do that right now. Be sure you subscribe to this channel. Click that little bell of, of, for notifications so you are notified when we put out great videos like this. Now, tip number one is going to be obvious, but I'm going to drill a little deeper to give you context because context is everything. Number one is controlling the food we consume. Now, many people think about controlling calories. They talk about SECO, calories in, calories out. Well, the calorie equation is not accurate as most people misunderstand it to be. Now, why is that? Let's use the donut example. The average regular donut is 100 calories. The average regular apple is 100 calories. Now, if we take this metaphor to the extreme and I feed you only donuts 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you only eat donuts. And I have you exercise vigorously, get good sleep, manage stress. 
And then I feed you only apples. Uh, of course, of course, the apples will not be a perfect food source, but over a longer period of time, which individual will be healthier? Which individual will perform at higher levels? Okay, we would all likely say the apple group. So with that, I want you to just briefly understand there is a difference between calories consumed. So it's not simply calories in, calories out. It's also not simply macros, protein, carbs, and fat, because there's a much more important layer under macros, which is the underpinnings, the foundation of all nutrition, and that is the micros, the calcium, the magnesium, the zinc, the phosphorus. There's, there's a, a long list of micronutrients that are essential to cellular health and activity. If we are micronutrient deficient from eating calorie dense nutrient deficient foods like the donut, we will vastly underperform and we will manifest dysfunction at the cellular level. What does that mean? That means our bodies will not lose fat as efficiently as we should. Our body will not build muscle as efficiently as we should. Our cells will not operate as efficiently as they should. And once again, to use the term, we will manifest dysfunction. The longer we follow a basic calorie generic macro diet, the worse off our health and fitness and body composition will be. So for the purpose of this conversation, number one is we must eat a high net nutrient diet consistently, which creates a basic total caloric intake. So yes, calories eventually matter, but calories only matter once we have facilitated the proper micronutrient intake. Now, how do you make this happen in your life? You simply eat healthful whole foods, real foods, foods from the earth, born of this planet, unmolested by man's dirty, greedy little hands. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to um, think about the food in your home right now. If it's in an air sealed bag, if it's in a box, if it's in, you know, more of the, 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 the packaging to preserve freshness, you want to consume a much lower total quantity of that with regards to the totality of your food intake. Most of the food you consume, my friends, should spoil. It should go bad if left out for a few hours to a few days, such as some produce. Now, oats things such as that, rice, things such as that, that comes in bags, it comes in boxes. Yes, that's fine. But we want minimally processed at most foods. Okay, so now we've covered step one, which is the type of food we should consume. And when I say consistently, my friends, you don't need to follow a structured hardcore meal plan to start making progress. For the purpose of this completely free video, I want to give you free information. I pride myself as being the most honest man in fitness. I've never sold out. I've never jumped the shark. I don't flip keywords like many of the others in the industry, constantly changing their entire brand, their entire talking points, their entire positioning, writing books, books on all sorts of different topics based upon what's popular in the media just to get your money. I simply tell you the truth, regardless what's hot, what's hip, what's in fashion. I tell you the truth. The most honest man in fitness here. So I want to give you honest, actionable, evidence-based information. If you, you don't know what to do, you're a little lost, you're, you're, you're in the right place, right? Here's what you simply do. Four meals per day. Forget about intermittent fasting. Forget about keto and carnivore and vegan and macros and all the other crap. I want you to eat four times per day breakfast, lunch, supper, dinner, however that breaks out for you four times per day, evenly spread every two to four hours on average. We say I personally eat six to seven times per day, but I'm an active individual. I exercise twice per day. I work a lot. I'm always running and gunning and going, and I've been doing this a while. In time, I will help build you and teach you how to eat more often, 
based upon your body type, your goals, and your schedule. We have a Patreon channel for anyone who's interested in jumping over to the Patreon page for much more detailed, personalized information as we can offer on the Patreon channel. That's fine. Mike Dolce knows that's there for those who want something like that. But those here with me hanging out right now and listening, start with the four meals. Simple. Four meals evenly spread. If you find yourself starving in between meal one and two, meal two and three, meal three and four, what we simply can do is we can plug one more meal into the day and spread everything out evenly once again. We're training our metabolism. We're training our habits. We're training our lifestyle. But most importantly, we're analyzing the data and we're making determinations in real time of what is best. So if we're eating about the same type of food at about the same time per day, at about the same quantities each time, after two or three days, you will feel a certain way. You will look a certain way. You will have real evidence to now make informed decisions. And if you've paid attention to this channel, if you click on the videos above, you start going down the wormhole of the videos we have here, I would strongly recommend that. It's all free content. And I really cover a lot of topics. I'm gonna do a Q&A right here. I'm gonna answer as many questions as I can in a moment, okay? So there's a lot of context here. But number one is controlling the food we eat. Not focused on calories, but focused more on the micronutrient density of healthful whole foods and eating consistently. If you're eating, you know, I had two meals today. I had four meals yesterday. I had one meal um, the next day. I had three meals. I went out to eat. I ate at home. I went to my friend's house. I, I went to the deli truck. There's no consistency. We cannot manage the data. We can't manage the data. Therefore, you will not have progress. You will not make progress. So number one is we, we eat consistently. Our, our meals, our menu is consistent. Number two is we exercise regularly. That's all I ask to, to get started. Now, this is more of a, a novice beginner entry level conversation for fat loss. Not remember, I talked about weight loss versus fat loss in the beginning of this video. If you're just jumping into the video, hello, everybody. I appreciate you guys for being here. If you have not yet, make sure you just subscribe to the channel, click that little notification bell so you know when we go live with videos like this. And bang, 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 give the video a thumbs up, my friends. I really do truly appreciate that. Number two is we exercise consistently. Consistent exercise is the most important aspect of our fitness regimen. Once nutrition is established, that's very important. And then we have to exercise consistently. But when we exercise, exercise doing things you enjoy. Things you enjoy. Yeah, they're going to be challenging sometimes and it's going to be hard sometimes for sure, right? But things you enjoy, which means you'll want to wake up and do them the next day and the next day and the next day. Consistency is everything, and a default for us is simply walking. The vast majority of you are blessed with the ability to walk, right? Consider yourself lucky because some people watching right now and some people on this planet do not have that ability. Walking is the most ideal, healthy exercise we can actually perform. M nearly every human who can cap physically walk will reap the greatest reward from simply walking. And all I want for you is to walk a minimum of 30 minutes per day at the base level. I want you to perform 30 minutes of exercise per day at the base level. Now, I'm going to say something slightly controversial here. I want you to exercise every single day. Every single day, seven days a week. But wait, not every exercise session should be intense. And in fact... They shouldn't be intense. Out of seven exercise sessions, maybe two or three should be intense, high intensity. Maybe two or three should be moderate intensity, and maybe two or three should be media or should be low intensity, right? So if I'm walking long walks three times a week, I'm going for a, a light jog or doing some body weight exercises twice a week, and I'm doing some interval or Metcon type of work 
two or three times a week. Perfect program right there. 30 minutes at a clip, nothing too hard, nothing too crazy. Now I'm creating a habit. That's why I say every day because we're establishing a healthy habit. You can go for a 30-minute walk after dinner. You can go for a 30-minute walk before breakfast. You can put on a, a 30-minute uh, YouTube video and do it in your living room while your kids are doing their homework. Um, you can do some kettlebell swings out in your driveway on your back deck. You can do some walking lunges in your backyard or in your living room. Like you can go to a traditional gym and, you know, commercial gym or CrossFit or, or mixed martial arts. I'm saying all this so everyone listening, because there's a wide variety of personalities listening right now all over the world, every single person could do something I'm speaking of right now. But you have to do it every day. You have to do it every day, again, my friends, to create consistency. This video is about fat loss. I am one of the foremost experts in weight management. And by weight management, that is prioritizing non-functional body mass reduction, which is subcutaneous visceral body fat and also edema and or water weight, total body water. And the preservation of functional mass because we focus on high level elite athletes who perform in weight restricted competition. So we really have to be experts here at managing body mass and understanding what is functional, what is non-functional, what do we need to perform and what can we get rid of? We have a high level of expertise in this and I'm breaking this down to you in the most simple and basic manner because there's no reason to get too crazy, convoluted, conflated and confusing with a lot of the deeper physiological, biochemical conversations. Now, some of you are interested in that and if you're interested in that, jump on over to our Patreon channel, Mike Dolce Knows, sign up, become a member. It's just started, it's brand new, it's growing and it is going to be be an amazing resource for people who want to push their lives forward, not just in health and fitness and performance and, and body mass augmentation, but lifestyle, finance, entrepreneurism, motivation, inspiration. There's a lot of content coming to that channel. If you're interested in the higher level speak, go there. But here on this channel, I want to give the best information for the largest amount of people that can help you immediately right now. And that's what this is. Number three, is rest and stress management. We must focus on our rest recuperation, and I'm lumping in stress management. That normally is number four. The pillars of, of health and fitness is nutrition, exercise, rest, and stress management. I'm jump, dumping these all together because I want them to fit nicely into this conversation with you. If you're not getting seven and a half or more hours of sleep per night, you are not optimizing your healing window. Therefore, if you're sleeping less than seven and a half hours, you are waking up damaged. And that damage creates dysfunction. And that dysfunction has a nasty endpoint that we don't know. And that's different for each one of us. You cannot burn the candle at both ends and expect to shine brightly in your regular life, nor to shine for a long period of time before you burn out, because you most definitely will. Seven and a half hours is the minimum, the minimum level of sleep that we need. I push you towards nine hours. I want you to go to bed nine hours before you have to wake up. That gives you enough time for hanky-panky with the missus or, or scrolling Instagram or reading a book or doing your mantras or whatever else it might be. So that will, will nearly guarantee you will have that restful seven and a half to nine hours of sleep before you must wake up and aggressively attack your day. Also on that, we need to focus on stress management minimizing all external stress in your life because there is a deep and dramatic biochemical reaction between stress and emotional psychological state and the physical manis manis manifestation that that emotional state brings. Now, I just spoke with a gastroenterologist and we had a great conversation on this issue. We're talking about digestive health. I hope to get him on the podcast here soon, but very busy in his practice and things are a little crazy with the COVID restrictions right now. But that being said, I really got a nice piece of information from him where in his experience of nearly 30 years of being a, a, a gastroenterologist, 
he finds the most insidious cause of digestive discomfort inefficiency is stress related although he says we do not yet have the diagnostic tools to definitively correlate stress to digestive dysfunction but his experience and that of the majority of his peers they all feel and believe most digestive issues are stress related how about that how powerful is that now think about this if you have something big going on tomorrow, you, you got your big presentation, it's your first day of school, um, you're gotta, you know, sit with the boardroom and, and you're gonna get a raise or you're gonna get fired. Man, your stomach's in knots, right? You got a date with the pretty girl, you're sitting on on your first date, you're not hungry at all, right? You almost feel like you're gonna vomit, right? You go through a stressful situation, your appetite disappears. Now, this is a, a rudimentary example to show you clearly that there is a physical impact of your emotional state, right? So we all agree on that. Now, when we have the, the death from a thousand um, uh, um, pinpricks, you've heard that expression before. If we have, you know, my, my car's not running too well and I'm always stuck in traffic and my boss is kind of a dick and my girl's always on my ass and, and money's always tight. I got the bill collectors calling me and man, I got to make that phone call. I got to have that hard conversation with my mom about the other thing and, and the air conditioner's not working very well. And I got that spot on the wall that eventually I got to get fixed. And like that, you know, these pants just don't fit very well. There's kind of something that's like scratching my hip all day long. That type of lifestyle is very, very discomfort or in, uncomfortable, creates a lot of stress, a lot of tiny, small stressors. Each one of these stressors is dramatic. All of these stressors tied together has a nasty impact on your health, on your well-being, on your well-being. And at the biochemical level, there is a multitude of reactions that are happening that are making you much less efficient at burning fat. Now, we know that definitively high stress states cause a biochemical reaction which impedes fat loss and, in fact, increases fat storage and water storage. The more stressed you are, the more fat you hold, right? Then the more stressed you become because of how bad you look and the worse your digestive system is at, at digesting and absorbing the food that you're consuming. All of this stuff kind of swirls and fits together. It's pretty crazy, right? So let's tie this up before I answer these questions here. Number one is we have to be consistent with our food intake consistent of high net nutrients of earth, healthful earth grown foods, eating about the same size meals at about the same time per day, evenly spread out. And then we make small decisions based upon the way we feel, the way our body reacts. We exercise number two, um, we exercise consistently. Also, it's all about consistency here. We exercise every day, 30 to 60 minutes every day, mostly medium to low intensity, but a few times higher intensity. You don't need to go hard. And in fact, you don't even need to sweat every day you work out. I like to, but you don't even need to. Just going for a 30-minute brisk walk is a high five to you. And you will, you will burn body fat doing this way. You will dramatically improve your overall health and well-being by simply going for these 30-minute walks. Then you add a little bit of, of body weight movements into that whether it's yoga it's calisthenics it's it's you know maybe jujitsu flows or shadow boxing jumping rope all the fun stuff easy and then you add a little bit of weighted resistance at slightly higher intensity levels where now it's a slightly a more interval you're doing a minute of kettlebell swings and a minute of planks Easy, nothing crazy here my friends right you can simply put this style of workout in and then number three is our rest and stress management you're getting seven and a half to nine hours of sleep per night and you are making decisions to push stressful situations away you're handling your business in real time you are aware of what makes you stressed and you cut it out of your life for good i hope this is helpful my friend now let me jump in and answer some questions for you i only have about six minutes left before i do have to get out i have to jump into another appointment let me see what i can do john trigg what's up john good to see you scuba happy thanksgiving 
Johnny P. Good morning from the West. Right on. Mike O'Brien. Um, hey, Mike. Hope all is well with you and the family. Appreciate the content and clear scientific info. Much love from Ireland. Michael, I appreciate you. Ryan, the eyes. Hope you're doing well, Coach. I'll be sending some good vibes tomorrow as I bite into my smoked, wild-caught, black-tailed deer roast. Ooh, what a Thanksgiving that is, Ryan. I love it, man. Ryan Kramer, 1% more. Boom, my brother. I'm proud of you, man. Glad you're out there. Um, and O'Brien says, appears like Connor may have watched your video about recent problems with his nutrition. I noticed recently he has a new nutritionist with a qualified bachelor's degree called Tristan Kennedy. Yeah, I told you. I knew that. I, I, if you want to, friends, go back into my video archives a few weeks or so ago and watch the video, The Problem with Connor McGregor's Conditioning. I said Connor's amazing. All of his coaches are amazing. His nutritionist is a freaking idiot, former nutritionist. And I knew at that time he got rid of George. And I knew at that time he brought in Tristan Kennedy, who I think is, is great. Um, Sean says, Chael Sonnens talked about Greg Doucette and said it's all about calories in, calories out. Come on, coach. I feel like I'm getting frauded paying for the Patreon. Sean, you then cancel, my friend. <laughs> cancel now think about this chael sonnen is a massive media personality greg Doucette is a massive youtube troll greg Doucette's videos are really for clicks and for drama chael sonnen is the don of drama chael calling greg out will allow greg to now mention chael in chael in in greg's videos and what will happen Tens of thousands of Greg's followers will then subscribe to Chael's channel, which will earn Chael thousands of extra dollars per month. So you can certainly, Sean, you can certainly cancel from being a Patreon at my channel and not worry about hearing the most fact-based, evidence-based, actionable information that really works. And you can go and follow Greg's channel or Chael's channel, to which I subscribe to both. I, I love Chael. Chael's awesome, right? Chael is amazing at what he does, but it's not calories in, calories out. That's the truth. And I know this for sure. And when Chael was dominating the UFC, when he was making middleweight, nothing about his diet had anything to do with calories. It was all micronutrients. So you can listen to actually the coach, the real coach, the four-time world MMA trainer of the year, or you can listen to a guy like Greg Doucette, who's what? He's a YouTube troll. And I think he's probably a nice enough guy. He's all about taking drugs. He's dramatically drug assisted. And then he's clickbaiting you guys into pretending he knows how you should be training when in fact it's false and it's not true. Or you can listen to an athlete or a coach who works with USADA, WADA, drug tested athletes, multiple NCAA division one national champions, all Americans, Olympians, Olympic medalists, CrossFit games, podium placers, and a multitude of world champions, thousands and thousands and thousands, tens of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people follow our programs. That's up to you, Sean. Like, man, spend your money where you feel it is best spent, right? That's what I'm saying. But I know my information is, is better than anyone's. And I'm happy to have that conversation with anyone. And Greg knows it's true, which is why Greg doesn't call me out. Greg knows not to mention me because I will burn him on the signs. I don't think he's a bad guy. And I think, oh man, good for Greg. I hope he makes millions of dollars on YouTube, but it doesn't mean his information is accurate. Most of his information is just BS. And he knows it. That's fine. He knows it. That's okay. That's okay. Johnny P, um, does a quick workout deplete glycogen would benefit from an hour of lists after playing basketball? Yes, it does. Great concept. KC says, hey, coach, I need advice, sir. I have had bad back issues and I'm waiting on surgery. How can I drop fat without being able to be active? I'm getting fat and um, and really scared. Ka KC, KC, I understand. We have a lot of individuals in your situation go through our online platform at thedolcediet.com. We have a four-week extreme weight loss program called Three Weeks to Shred It that was created specifically for our world-class athletes getting ready for weight class-oriented sports. Athletes who had to lose 20-plus pounds in 21 days will follow our Three Weeks to Shred It program to get in the best shape of your life. Many people in your situation, when they can not exercise for some specific reason, have followed our three weeks to shredded program with no exercise to lose dramatic amounts of body weight. So I would say, hey, 
Call your doctor. Make sure it's okay for you. This is not medical advice. I am not a medical doctor, although my initials are MD for whatever that's worth, but I'm not a medical doctor. I will say three weeks to shred it is the most effective, helpful weight loss program. We have a 100% success rate for over 20 years of working at the world's highest level. And this is all real food. Three weeks to shred it. And the Dolce diet.com online platform is the number one rated online healthy weight loss platform currently in existence. It is crushing it. If anybody wants to drop weight, drop weight fast, learn how to eat, eat great meals, delicious freaking meals with all of the, the exercise database and, and the, the nutrition and the recipe, recipe database, um, personalized nutrition plans, personalized exercise programs, leaderboards, predictive avatars, training journals. It is a robust online platform on your mobile, on your laptop, on your desktop. This is all at thedolcediet.com. I strongly suggest you go there right now and check it out. And definitely get logged in, get locked in, um, and you can cancel, right? You, we have we have a 100% money back guarantee. If you go and you're like, oh man, this workout there, this program is just too awesome. I don't want to lose a pound a day for 21 days. I don't want to get super fit and lean and feel amazing and, and live my best life. Like I don't want to follow the same evidence-based programs that the world's greatest athletes follow to, to compete at the highest levels. Like, I don't want to eat all these amazing, delicious meals and just like dramatically change my life. I want my money back. No problem. But that's, we're, we're cool with that. We are, we are fine with that, right? It's up to you. We are here to help you go to the Dolce diet.com, transform your body, get started. Um, and it's, it's ready to go. It's there for you, my friend. Um, Dolce, what's up, bro? What's up, Joel? Hey, 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 if you need to have a cheat day, what would be your cheat meal? Always, um, I like, I don't like to cheat. We don't cheat, right? We, we don't cheat. We have an earned meal. So if I earn an off menu meal, what I typically do is eat more of what I normally eat. I might make a, a eight ounce grass fed certified Piedmontese burger and some homemade baked French fries. Ooh, maybe I'll make a big old pot of, of homemade mashed potatoes and put one of those, uh, uh, like a, a, you know, eight or 12 ounce, uh, um, wild caught salmon. You know, I'll broil something like that. That's my quote cheat meal, especially now that I'm in this recomp phase. Steve Sierra, my question, breakfast bowl enough for fuel for an hour weight cardio training session? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Um, absolutely. Nick L at work, just dropping into thumbs up. Hell yeah. And I appreciate bang, bang, bang. I appreciate those thumbs up guys. It really does help with the engagement. Um, if nothing else, it lets me know that you're out there. You're engaged with this content you're watching. I really do appreciate that. Um, Steve Sierra, happy Thanksgiving to you. Um, Joel says, I can't be one month eating clean. I need some cheat meals at least sometime every two weeks. What would be a good way to stop being a B word and stick to the diet? Joel, if I put a gun to your head and I said, you have to eat this food for the next 21 days, you couldn't do it. If I said, Joel, man, the fuck up, man, you're a grown ass man. You're an adult. Like you're actually going to sit here right now and tell me you can't boo hoo. You're going to cry like a little baby and have a temper tantrum because your wife is sitting over there eating a slice of pizza. Or your kid's having a cupcake and you're going to be a little fucking baby about it. Are you fucking kidding me? There are people suffering in this world, going through pains and trauma and turmoil that you do not know, that you have never seen possibly. And I'm not saying you have a perfect life, but you can't channel the strength from the imperfections of your life and say, you know what? For the first fucking time in my life, I'm going to be proud of myself. I'm going to stick to this for the next 21 days. I'm actually going to follow this fucking through for my family for my children, for my future, for myself, for my health. Enough of being a fucking little B word. I'm finally going to step up and get something fucking done for myself. You can't do that, man. Honestly, like I have, I have to have a cheat. I have to have a cheat meal. Oh, I have to have a cheat meal. What, what, what is that shit? Honestly, like get, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. And I'm saying this out of love. This is a way, if you were one of my fucking clients, I'd be like, listen, take your fucking money back. You, you can't step up. You can't stick to it. You mean, well, you need to fucking need me to carry you and coddle you like a little fucking baby. Honestly, that's what you need a grown ass fucking man to coddle you a grown ass man, like a fucking baby, because you need a cheat meal. When there's people suffering in this fucking world, people dying in hospitals that can't hug their fucking wife or kids, right? You need a, you need a fucking cheat meal though. See, now that was me role-playing with you. All right, stop. 
And that was me role-playing with you, trying to get an emotional reaction with you to illustrate a point. But really, if you think about the things that I'm saying, you need a cheat meal? Are you kidding me? Like, what is a cheat meal? Po like, I, Mike, I need to poison myself because I'm too mentally weak to be healthy and live my best life. Like, I, I want to die of hypertension, heart disease, maybe maybe stroke, diabetes, and cancer. Well, like 10, 15, maybe 20 years before um, uh, my, 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 my natural cause would take me. So I'm just going to have a cheat meal, all right, dude? Is that okay? Like, what are you, what are you asking me here? Honestly. I have conversations kind of like this, kind of not like this with people all day long. Like now I'm, I'm conducting six one-on-one -on -one consultations per day. Everyone can go to uh, Dolce Diet Shop, block a one-on-one -on -one consultation, or my Patreon page. One of the tiers actually gives you a monthly 30-minute consultation with me, and I will treat you the way you, treat, you deserve to be treated. I will tell you the things you need to hear, not the things you want to hear. I will be super nice and super polite. And I treat everyone the way that they deserve to be treated. But you wanted me to tell you something. So I gave you something to think about. I gave you something to think about. And you say cheat. I cheat. I cheat. I cheat. I cheat. I cheat. I'm such a bad boy. I'm such a bad boy. We don't fucking cheat over here, man. We earn shit. I'm a grown ass fucking man. If I want to have a piece of cake, I'm going to have a piece of cake. Like I'm going to have apple pie and pumpkin pie tomorrow at Thanksgiving. I'm going to eat the stuffing. Yeah, hell fucking yeah, I am going to. Of course I am. But I'm going to fucking earn it. And I've been busting my ass for the last 12 fucking days, training my ass off, eating fucking perfectly, training twice today. I'm going to train. I'm going to fucking squat and do walking lunges and farmer's fucking carries tomorrow before my Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to wake up and do my list first thing in the morning. And I'm going to do a pre core session tonight before I go to bed. I'm going to earn my Thanksgiving. No fucking guilt. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm actually being a grown ass fucking man. I'm being an adult, right? I'm setting criteria for myself and I'm sticking to them. I'm putting guardrails on my life and I'm staying within those. Now I can do whatever the fuck I wanted. I could walk around the corner and, and, and shoot fucking heroin because I'm a grown ass man. I have free will, but why would I do something so fucking stupid and dangerous and hazardous and so hurtful to my own health and the health and, and hurtful to all the people who care about me? Why would I do that? So again, stop. This is once again, me role playing, playing this fucking character for you to give you a few different things to now implant in your head. And I know that there was an emotional response. Everyone listening, not just Joel had an emotional response. And I saw that like a bunch of likes just go up. And if you appreciate the way I handle that, give this a thumbs up. Let me understand that you hear this, you see this, and man, you're engaged with what I just said, because that's the bare basics of it. Do you want to achieve in life? Do you want to become something of your life? Do you want to improve, improve your life we well, got to fucking set guardrails you got to set boundaries for yourself you got to set goals and stick to it make your own food man find food that's delicious go look at my instagram page look at what i had last night as a snack when i was netflix and chilling with my wife on the couch last night i don't i don't like i don't understand this whole like i need to i need to poison myself thing i don't get that like, why don't you just fucking drive down the street and, and write your, your social security number on, a, on a, like 20 napkins and just throw them out the window with the pin to your debit card? Just throw them out the window. Like, why would you engage in such destructive behavior with your physical health if you won't do it with your financial health? I don't understand that. Doesn't that make sense? So, Joe, I hope you appreciate this, brother. Uh, again, this is all said out of love to be helpful here, just to give you a different voice in your head, because now that's, that's embedded in your head. A bunch of those little sound bites are in your head now. Now you have something to think about when you're faced with that again. Sonia, hell yeah. Jonathan Trick, hey, coach, my main goal right now is to lose fat in the gym. Should I do the 6 to 12 reps? Yes, you should. Nope, 6 to 12 reps, brother. Build muscle, build muscle, build muscle, build muscle, build muscle. That's what we're doing while we're gaining fat. That's another thing. When you want to want to lose fat, sorry, when you want to lose fat, you need to build muscle. Uh, Wayne says, keep safe and well from Ireland, coach. If someone wants to learn nutrition for free, go to go on your podcast and write down keywords and explanations. Won't go wrong. Hell yeah, Wayne. I appreciate that, my man. Oliver, what's up, Oliver? Good to see you, my friend. Um, Ashley, are triceps good for MMA? Yeah, they're essential, of course. Mr. Russ. Coach, mom just finished her first 12 weeks and down 28 pounds without really working out. 
and said it changed her life at 70. Boom! Give mom a big shout out for me, please, Russell. That is absolutely awesome. I know we had a friend a few comments back that said, hey, they have some health issues. They can't exercise. What should they do? They don't want to gain weight. Well, Russ's mom at 70 years old lost 28 pounds on our 12-week living lean bundle at thedolcediet.com. She's following our exact online program at thedolcediet.com. At 70 years old, she lost 28 pounds without even working out. What could that do for you? This is why the Dolce Diet.com is the number one rated online weight loss platform and it's healthy and it's real food and it's not all the hocus pocus bogus BS that's being thrust upon you. We actually teach you how to eat real food and get in the amazing best shape of your life to lose weight just like Russ's mom, 28 pounds down. That's awesome, Russ. Um. Uh, Russ says, I want to gift the 12 week program to my sister for Christmas. Is there a way to do this? Yes. Now what we, what we've been telling people is you can actually use an alternate email address. Just go to like, a, this has been the easiest way for most people go to an alternate Gmail address. It's like, you know, Russ's sister at gmail.com, create a, a, a alternate email address for her. And then set the program up, like then just go to the, the Dolce Diet.com, purchase the program with the alternate email address so you can give her the email address and then whatever the password is, you know, Russ's sister. And then she can change her password inside her dashboard. She can change her email address inside her dashboard if she wants to. That's been the easiest way. It takes like, I don't know, 20 seconds on, on Gmail or Yahoo to just create an additional email. That, that's that been the easiest way. And we have you know probably a few dozen people per week who actually do that. And we haven't had one complaint, no customer service inquiries on that. Um, Joe Blogs, how long does it take for food to become muscle roughly? I don't have an answer on that. That might be something Dr. Andy Galpin may have an answer on, um, but it's everything is happening at the same time, right? It's all happening at the same time. So I don't know if like the chicken I eat today becomes muscle on, on Thursday or, you know, uh, maybe, but maybe that information's out there. I've never really gone through it. Um, guys and gals, I apologize. Zach C, I see a couple of uh, super chat donations. Zach C with the $2 super chat donation. Uh, this is a, a tip for lightning, for lighting up. Joel F. Ziggy, exactly. And Joel gave the $2 Super Chat donation. Joel, I appreciate that, man. I know I went hard in the paint on you, but that was on purpose. And I'm playing a character. You guys know I'm, I'm a sweet, loving teddy bear of, of a man. And that's the truth. But sometimes I have to speak in a manner that's going to shake you, right? It's going to shake you out of your comfort zone. It's going to give you a, 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 a proverbial slap in the face because pop culture, the media, the marketing, and all of your friends and family have been telling you one thing, and they're all wrong because look at them. Look at them, right? They're all unhealthy in many ways. You don't listen to unhealthy people. I do not have bankrupt accountants do my taxes, Right. I, I, I do not have my, my money manager has never been indicted on money laundering crime. Right. I only have high level experts who live the work I want them to do. My accountant is is a multi, multi, multi millionaire. Right. Who runs a, a, a massive firm that deals with with high level individuals. I'm that's who where I want to go. That's who does my taxes. My my tax is my, my accountant is a tax attorney. Even I don't just go to a CPA. I go to a tax attorney who is also a CPA, who has a team of attorneys and CPAs inside their company. Right. That's where I want to be. That's the people I want to take their advice from. Right. So do not listen to the, the unhealthy you know, people, poor souls in your life. Only listen to the A plus professionals, the A type overachievers. That's that's best practices here. Right. Do you, you think, uh, um, you know, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, to use the basketball analogy. Do you think that their their coaches um, were, were, you know, high school um drop out they got they were like the jv coach who never had a winning season uh, is that that who got them to the nba finals to become mvps or did they have high level practitioners around them at all times and we're constantly getting more and more and more of the high level best practices so that that's the way we look at it man 
Um, Joel says, this is what I need, bro. Thank you for all the talk. You are the best need to stop being a B word. I would never use that. I would never be so critical to say that about someone. But all I wanted to do for you, Joel, is not to criticize you as a person because you're asking the questions. And I want to give you a high five for that. And I'm proud of you for that. What I want is I wanted to shake you up. Mentally, I wanted to shake you up because you, you were becoming a pod person. You were doing what all the other pod people around you were doing, right? And that is not healthy for you. That's not good for you. you it, it's very rare. People like us are very rare. There are very few of us walking the planet right now, but there are more and more of us growing. That's what this channel here is. That's what our new Patreon page is. That, the Patreon page is like for, for the samurai now. Like we are building a, a, a team. We're building um, a, a, just a, a, a system of, of high level operators who are going to change the world. But in order to change the world, we must first change our own life, right? And that's what I want. And the first thing, my job is to shake you free of, of all the BS, all the pop culture, all the programming that's out there and all the habits of your family and friends who are unhealthy. They're dying. Right. They are diseased. They are diseased. Unfortunately, I need to shake you out of that zone to unplug you in order for you to then realize, holy shit, I can't believe that like every Sunday, Sunday, fun day, man, Sunday, fun day. You know, man, you got to live a little bit, man. YOLO. You know, you got to fucking have some fun sometimes, Dolce. Dude, nobody has more fun than me. I guarantee fucking tea you nobody had. Nobody eats better than me. No one travels better than me. No one, like, I, I, I say this, right? I, I say this in many ways, and I don't know how it comes off when I say it, but all the fucking overweight, unhealthy, like, like financially poor because they make poor decisions. I know people who make a lot of money and they're still fucking broke all the time. All the people that make all these decisions, their life sucks as they pretend that they're living this, 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 you know, big time life. They're not, their life sucks, man. Don't be that person. Free yourself of that mindset, become completely independent and autonomous, become a free thinker. You understand what makes the most sense. You must set goals for yourself. I'm so confident as I sit here speaking to you, because I set goals for myself and I achieve those goals. That's why I have a, the level of confidence that I do. There's nothing that I cannot do. If I set a goal to it, I'm going to achieve it. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can tell me otherwise. And I'm not going to listen to any of these dumbass motherfuckers around here who've never achieved anything in their life. Like, look at you and your fat fucking body. You're telling me I should have a cheat day so I can look like you with your fucking type 2 diabetes? Get the fuck out of here. Like, all, all you fat motherfuckers are trying to tell me how I should cook my Thanksgiving turkey, right? Oh, you motherfucker, you're going to tell me? Get the get out of here. Oh, I, sh I should take a day off. I should take a day off from exercising? Like, get the fuck out of here. That's my mentality, man. I, whatever, call me crazy. But at the same time, I, I don't know people who have a higher level of relative success than those who think like, like I do, like we do. Um, <sighs> broken mic is the, the mic is off the, the microphone is the audio not working well, guys. I just saw that now. Um, but that was a good comment. A master of the arcane. All good, bro. Chill. Um, yo, what's up with the, um, what's up? I'm just checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Jen Spence, tell me if the microphone's off. I don't know. Everything checked out fine early on. I did another broadcast on a different channel recently. I did a, a interview before. Everything checked out great on the playback. Um, so I apologize if that's the case. Um, Jen Spence says, hey, coach, doing our morning list routine right now while listening. Thanks for the morning motivation. Also, Russ. Uh, my hubby got me the program as a gift. My email, generic password, best gift ever. Bang. Jen, that's awesome. What an awesome hubby you have. And Jen, man, gal, I shouldn't say man. Um, super proud of you, Jen. By the way, you and your husband are absolutely killing it. I love when I see couples walking this healthy and fit road together. So high five to you. High five to your hubby. And uh, keep me posted on the next. Um, microphone has some issues. All right. So I will. I'm going to log off now because I, I – 
muffled audio bothers the heck out of me. Maybe because I banged the table before. Who knows what happened? I actually have my interface on the table. Um, I know I shouldn't do that, but we're under construction right now. So we moved everything off like our normal, like kind of a secondary table, blah, blah, blah. Um, I appreciate you guys. You're awesome. Remember, go to the adultjdiet.com right now if you want to join the four or 12 week online weight loss program, three weeks to shredded, or the living lean bundle, the 12 week living lean bundle. Go to the adultjdiet.com. Also, we have a new Patreon channel that is constantly growing. That is the black belt never before heard conversations and a lot of the stuff that i can't say on youtube on instagram on facebook on twitter because they censor me all of that stuff will now be living on patreon so definitely find out what tier is right for you give us a test you can cancel at any time but definitely check out the patreon content and anything else I think that's it. One-on-one -on -one consultations at DolceDietShop.com. You want me to crawl up someone's tail for sure or to just sit back and listen and uh, just help give best practices and uh, a 30,000 square foot view or 30,000 foot view of maybe what's going on in people's lives. I'm always happy to do that. I really live for that stuff nowadays. Um, cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, boom.